Hey, my love. So today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. Man, lots of twos. Um, so as you can see, you won't be able to see me. I'm sorry. Um, I am actually still in my pajamas right now. And um, I, I need, <laughs> I need to take a shower. I've just been working all day and um, I finally was like, well, I should probably go record something before the sun completely goes down. So I wanted to share a couple things with you guys. One, I miss you guys so much. And two, I am super excited, like super, 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 extremely excited. Um, about what the Lord is doing in the situation. I so wish, I wish that I could share all the things that are taking place and have been taking place, but unfortunately, um, I can't share these things yet, but I just want you to have hope in the situation. God absolutely has a plan in this. And we have been chosen. I know that I'm not trying to make us sound any more important than anyone else. Um, because everyone, every one of God's children is extremely important to him. And to each one of us as brothers and sisters in Christ. But as I've been working on some projects, I am... Um, tides are turning. Tides have turned. Tides have changed. And, um, and I'm just, I know I'm not, you can't see my face right now, but yesterday I was smiling from ear to ear because of God's goodness. And again, I wish I could share these things with you, not just you, Warren and Clara, but I know those are, there are a lot of people who are, are following, um, our situation and, um, at the right time, at the right appointed time, I am confident that um, I will be able to share these things. Um, sorry, I know you guys are just like staring. You're kind of looking at whatever I am pointing at. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do is um, I wanted to bless your guys' spirits, just kind of share some encouraging things with you, which which I know I can't tell you the encouraging details of what's going on, but just be encouraged and trust me and just believe that God is good. Um, you know, faith, they say that faith is believing in something that you cannot see. Um, and I know you guys know me. I know you know my heart. I know, and I know you know me. You know me that I'm not going to feed false hope um, or or lie, period. That I would rather not say anything at all than lie or feed you false hope. And I just want you to know that God is good and things are turning. I don't know at what point or what will happen, but... I see, I'm beginning to see um, more clarity in the overall picture. It seems like it's it's going from a very wide focus to a narrowing focus. Like it's narrowing in, if that makes sense. Like when you look at something, <clears throat> let's say you're looking out the window right now, but then you get out binoculars and you focus in maybe on that one little spot right there and you zoom in on it well when everything started it felt like we were looking at everything with a 30,000 foot perspective um it was really difficult to get any clarity i knew that there was something big about our situation i knew that god was doing something and i knew that he chose the right people um I didn't believe, I'll be honest, I didn't believe in myself. I believed in you guys. 
um, all three of my kids, Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. But I didn't, I can't say that I believed in myself to be able to do something at such a large scale. Um, because I think a lot of it was because I was looking at things from a 30,000 foot perspective, which is good at times when everything around us is shaking and we get hit with something. Um, I, I'll often tell other people as, as I'm, you know, helping other parents go through similar situations um, that I tell people to, to get a 30,000 foot perspective on their situation. Um, however, what I am now realizing that as the Lord is opening doors and closing doors, that that 30,000 foot perspective keeps narrowing in. So it like went from 30 to 20 to 10,000 feet. And uh, maybe I'm at hundreds of feet, not even thousands of feet on the perspective, maybe a thousand feet on the perspective of what God's doing. But I am starting to see, I would say probably closer than a thousand feet. I'm getting the perspective of what God's doing in this situation. Um, I I don't know. I wonder sometimes, like, Lord, were we your first pick? Or did other people turn down this mission or agenda? I don't know. <clears throat> but I can say he picked the right people. Warren and Clara, you are two of the most incredible, amazing kids I have ever, ever known and ever met and Wyatt um why you have such a large heart and I wish that I could sit down with you and talk through um and I'm not going to put this on you but maybe the potential complex trauma of what you have gone through being your mother um knowing the background, background history of most people who were in your situation. Um, and then of course, background situation of what Warren and Clara are in. Um, it, I just wish Wyatt, if you're watching these, I wish we could talk about this. Um, I know I can't solve your problems. I know that I, wish that I could turn back time um, in so many, so many areas of my life and in your life, the components that I could while you were a child. Um, but I think that if we could sit down and talk about these things and work through um, um, how do I say this? Um, I guess for you to know that I'm here for you, that no matter what has happened um, in your life, I'm, I'm trying to be really careful about how I'm seeing this, that my heart aches and hurts for you. Um, and Warren and Clara, I mean all three of you guys, to be placed in a situation that you have, only God knew, only the Lord knew. He knew what you needed. He knew what would happen. And you're here, which tells me that at some point um, you accepted. Because I have this, I have this belief that we, well, and this is scriptural, that we were spirit first, and then our spirit was released into our body and our soul. And so Knowing that if we were spirit first, I don't believe that. My personal belief is that each one of us, we had chosen um, or agreed to, maybe, um, God's, God's plan, his design for our life. Like, <clears throat> he actually showed us everything that may happen to us or that would have happened to us. But because he, and, and us as well, but because God 
um, is not bound by time or space, and he knows the very end of everything, including each one of our stories. He knew the end from the beginning, meaning when everything set out with your lives, he knew the end of it. But because scripture says that we were with him at the beginning, <clears throat> that would also mean that I, I can't confirm this, but I would assume, and not even assume, but believe um, in my prayer time as well, that we as well knew the end of each one of our lives. Um, and it's my own personal belief that I chose this, that the Lord, Father God, the Holy Spirit, all three of them, the Trinity, gave me an option. He said, hey, this is what, these are all the things that are going to happen. Here are all the doors. Um, here are all the opportunities and the things that I have given you to overcome this. Um, but at the end, here's the end of it. So I'm giving you everything you, you need to overcome this. And um, that maybe he even showed me my, my reward at the beginning. I don't know. But I believe that I accepted that challenge. That God showed me the very end of everything, of how everything would end at the beginning. And so I said, I'm in. In fact, I had a vision or a dream about this. <clears throat> that the Lord showed me all this stuff. And I looked at, he had asked me, are you in? And I said, yes, I'm in. And, you know, whatever you want to call it, a dream or whatever. And so I'm confident. Now, each person, you know, I don't know each person's story. But I do know this, that God created my children. He created each one of his kids for purpose and a mission. And he didn't send us here to this earth to just kind of flail around hoping to succeed in that mission or that mandate or that um, um, destiny for our lives. No, he gave us everything that we need to succeed. He didn't just throw us out there and say, oh, good luck. No, he gave us everything we need. However, it's up to us to seek him. And scripture even says, knock, ask. You will find if you seek. He will answer your prayers if you ask him. And of course, the key is we need to be asking for his will. Because he will answer everything according to his will. And that's why I pray all the time for his will in this situation. Um, I so badly want... Um, all of my will, my answer, my prayers to be answered now, but God has a perfect timing, a place, and situation of when that will take place. And in the midst of it, He's working out in my heart and in your guys' hearts, um, our character. He's refining us because whatever He's bringing us into is so much bigger than ourselves, it's so much greater than ourselves. And that if we just went from A to Z without the refining process in between, we would probably destroy whatever it was that got us to Z. Like it would drop into our laps and then we wouldn't be faithful stewards of it because we wouldn't have the process of going from A to Z. We'd have to work through it. And, and whatever God is going to <clears throat> place into our lives, like he wants to be able to trust that we're going to be, we're going to have his heart. And um, so, yeah, I just, I think about like all of the things that have taken place from honestly the moment that I married your father, Warren and Clara. Um, and to, to right, right now, and actually I could even go farther back. I could go back to the moment that I met your dad, Wyatt. Um, and every, everything, including every person that I've met, every prayer that I've prayed in vain, 
<laughs> so those are the selfish ones. And then every prayer that I have prayed according to God's will. Like everything is has a set time, a set place. And um, I am personally so excited. I wish you could see my face right now. Even though I'm at a peaceful place because I'm actually not working right now. But um, I am so excited. I am honestly so truthfully wholeheartedly excited for what the Lord is doing and what he's about to do. There is everything inside me knows this is God's will. This is God's plan. This is God's design. And as the Lord had promised me at the beginning, he said, this will be glorious, Beth. And again, and I know I've said this before on recordings, I don't use the word glorious. I have now since he said that word, but I had never used it, nor was I around people who used that word glorious back when I heard it from him. So to me, that told me that was not my own thoughts, but it was the Lord. And for those of you um, who don't understand being able to hear from the Lord, um, I don't hear the Lord audibly. I don't hear him like speaking out of a microphone or out of a um, cell phone or whatever, or even in the same room. I don't hear him that way. It's just this sense. It's this peace that surpasses all understanding. It's something internally. Um, and if you're a child of God and you take the time to listen back, from the Lord he wants to speak he wants you to hear him he wants you to hear his heart and of course the Lord will never say anything that um, goes against the Bible he just will never so if you hear something and it's not biblical then that probably then I can say that was not the Lord because <laughs> um, people say well how do you know if it's just yourself or if it's a bad spirit well is it love? I mean, that's really, is it, is it rooted in love um, and forgiveness? And we're talking an unconditional love, not a um, perverted sexual love, but a pure love um, and joy. So <clears throat> anyways, Warren and Claire, I just want you to know I love, I miss you guys so much. I love you and I miss you much. Why, if you're listening to these or watching these, I really hope that you know that I love you so much. You are my son. You are my first son. And um, I, yeah, I just want you to know I love you. I love all three of you guys. I'm going to end in a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for making me a mom to Wyatt, Orn, and Clara. Lord, thank you for giving me everything, all three of us, Lord. <laughs> All four of us, including Wyatt, Orrin, and Clara, and myself. Father, thank you um, for giving us everything that we need to make an impact in this world, in our situation, and to overcome and be victorious in this situation. Lord, thank you for um, filling filling the void in our hearts um, for each other as we are separated um, physically but Lord we know that we will be together forever and Lord I thank you that you are quickening each one of our spirit and our soul um, to to pray in alignment with your will and your purpose but also you are imparting into us perseverance faith um, tenacity and patience to continue to endure and to continue walking your plan and your will for our lives. I just thank you, Father God. And Lord, I continue to pray. May your will be done in our situation and in all three kids, all three lives of my kids, as well as my life. Lord, I thank you, Father God, in your name. Amen. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys. Hopefully I'll see you on the camera tomorrow. I love you. Bye.